The problem is, is that in, in comp, if you're not eating waves, you're like falling super behind. Because like, right. even if you get a double kill in, in duo, you're four man splitting that kill, right? The, the two kills and the wave is worth more than the split of the kill. I, yeah, I don't. It could I, be a free way. Like I like calling my jungler to just if I'm playing mid, I like calling my jungler. Oh, go mid, my time to to shine. That's fair. So yeah, what what is, what is your goal with these scrims? So like so you guys are competing with scrims. Um no. So our thought process is they're a decent team, like around high masters, grandmasters, EU. Um. What I want from from you is we don't need to go full in on the draft. We can just talk it from minutes from when we launch into the game until the buff spawn or something major happens. We can talk about it very shortly. And then you just comment on on what you want as a team thing. Like comms, because game one <laughs> game one there's a moment when I'm just fucking tilted for no reason. No worries, that's part of competing. So you want me to go straight post draft? You don't want anything, any info on draft? Let's just let's just look at the draft, uh, the end draft, and then I'm gonna tell you what I thought. So here we pick Shibalanki with Ganesh out of our solo laner. He just thinks like it's a good combo as well as Shibalanki into Tor. We just trust him. Like it's not like we know it, but what I think we need now is. I think in draft. Like this is like I think a rule of thumb for comp, is that mm -hmm. if, if your if your teammate has a re like has okay I think X ball is good versus Thor right whatever we trust them but at least give me a reason right because I mean I, as a competitor myself like I know almost every draft like I know every interaction I play this game for too long so like what is X ball good versus Thor I mean a good Thor will wall your your dash right so you're just gonna dash into his wall so like I feel like it's kind of a bad matchup but he does have four versus four right which is like turn off the lights into Thoral, but I don't even think that's that good either. So, but I, but it's understandable. I'm just giving you like my my perspective on drafting. Right. So that's why we picked Shibalanke. And I didn't think about it uh, during the draft, but here I think we need like an Agni mid or some some something that can like set up a stun or, or, or something. Because they, they wanted me to play like a Susano so I can like initiate, but I just don't think it's good against them. And they, they, they have support last pick. They can just counter me really easily. Exactly. Yeah, this is definitely not a good, like, Susano angle, in my opinion. But that's what kind of happens with Ganesh. Like, mm -hmm. if you go Ganesh, I think you kind of need, like, something to start a fight. Like, I mean, Bologna can kind of do it, soft do it, but it doesn't feel that good for her to start it. And Susano isn't really a good start of a fight. Like, it is in the first, like, 10, 15 minutes. But then if you're starting fights in the, you know, it's a post-20 minutes, you're, you're going to have to use all early in rel relics, and then you can't clean up, which is what Susano's to go to. Yeah, if you see my mouse there, I'm looking at Erlang, Fenrir, Neja. Yeah, you see, those like, those seem a lot more, stuff. exactly. That seems a lot more like I'm going to go in first all the whole game. Yeah, but then I'm just like, no, nah, I'm not going to do it. And I end up picking Thanatos. And the, you're gonna hear it during the game, but like they don't wanna, they don't think Fana is good. But I think with the four picks we've selected, Fana is I think Fana's just good like here. the only way we kill. Yeah, I think Fana's good here. Fana's good like restore. Yeah, you have XE, so you scale late. You, you can silence a lot of team at stuff. They go care. Yeah. Our last pick, that's not even. You don't give a shit about that. Right. Once we jump into like, once the buffs spawn, you can turn on comms. So we can hear it a bit. And I'll be a bit more quiet now. No I how you can't buy consumables quickly on the new HUD. You, like, you can't uh, spam about the new numbers as quickly as you can on the old HUD. I just pressing consumables. I, I, I don't even know what it is. I'd be like, boys. <coughs> this, this is game one, uh, This is game one. Who is their camera? Off the bat, I, I do like... I don't mind Wing Shard, I think it's the second best, but I do think Horn Shard is kind of cracked in this character. But I, I like Wing Shard too. No clue. Hold on. Mm -hmm. okay. I've seen the name somewhere, yeah. It's so just because double, like, just because if you get a mm -hmm. reset and you and you Horn Shard, you have double, you literally double CDs. Right. But you'll see how I play it. Yeah, I think Wing is good. Makes sense. So this one isn't sync. Yeah, I think it's a slur. Oh. What the fuck? I have an in my, in my friends list from my ranking. <laughs> but. 
know my attack speed is gone. What no attack nine? So cringe. Honestly, I'm gonna gank mid lane. I wanna choose them. The reason I think this is good is just because it's Tiamat. If it was any like any other mage, I think it's pretty hard to get this off. I mean, you might kill him, but you you probably get relic. But no no dash on him is good. I think it was a little bit of a mistake the way you routed here. Right now. So here, archers are gonna aggro you, right? Cause like they're still not hitting melee, so they're gonna they're gonna aggro you. So you have to pre blink here. Cause you even tried to, I'm assuming there, cause you're like holding. Yeah. Okay, well, we're gonna. Oh, everything was pretty there. Yep. Yeah. Nice, good shit, boys. The only thing I would have done different is just get me the kill. I don't need more than me. No yeah, problem. I think it's fine that he gets it. Come, come to the back with me. Oh, the body blocks. Uh, Tor is missing, guys. Be careful. Yep. I think Karen went to ward. Uh -huh. <coughs> Thor is mid. Okay, we can chill. They, they kind of have pressure around left mid, so I'm just gonna hover left side. That is cool. That's easier doing this now. I'm gonna gank first. Mm -hmm. Probably look just to kill Karen. Yeah, yeah. I don't have silence, but I does think he, have, he has. Does he have dash? I think he has dash. Okay, yeah, I, 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 I cancel it. I cancel it. Anything? No, I have nothing. Yeah, fuck my dash. It's fine, it's fine. Just don't fight. Yeah. Sad. That's my bad on this dash. He's one. Oh, there's no way. Two seconds for my... ...for my other one. He fucked up his double tap. Oh. I think there was a lot of things that went wrong here. Yeah. So I'll go over it. So here. I think he has that. So okay. So I think you you should be calling target here. I think you should say who you want to go on. I think Karon is the best. I agree. You can't cancel his dash. It's good that you guys bounce like that. That was really good off the bat, right? Like okay, Karon. He he says we can go Karon. Then you say does he have dash? He says he probably does. That's that's like high level bounce right there. I'm gonna gank first. Mm -hmm. So everything is good up to now. Probably look just to kill Karam. Yeah, yeah. I don't have silence, but I does think he, have, he has. Does he have dash? I think he has dash. Okay, yeah. I, I, I can't. Okay, so here, if you're confident you're gonna cancel his dash, I think it's a huge mistake not popping your two first. Because you just need the pen to, to kill this guy. Like, especially because he's gonna have inherit prots through his starter, slash being, uh, you know, a guardian. So, so you, you not getting your two off is what kills your damage here. Like, your, your scythe does what your auto does just because you didn't press two. I think I think the way you use your two in this whole skirmish was wrong. You always used it post damage. Like you need to use it pre. Right. Thailand's was perfect. Cause now you're about to press your two, right? And like now there's no point. Like it doesn't do anything. Also, right? You knew that Thor was left side, right? And you know he's gonna come counter this. So as soon as you ask, this is a good ask. You say, hey, does anybody have anything? Nobody has anything, right? He dashed, he uses one already, he said he didn't have silence, this guy already two. There's nothing here, right? So you have to be like a leader here and be like, guys, back the fuck up, Thor's coming, he's left jungle, ping, 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 ping. And then, because your team gets caught off here, like, you, you got caught off with your pants down. And then this guy gets like, you guys kind of get jabated. And then Thor comes okay. late. And like, there's no, nobody knows Thor's coming, even though everybody should know. Like, that's the first thing. Someone, you should already be rapping, holding the jungle here, seeing if he's coming. Also, you should have a health pop popped. Yeah, fuck my dash. Just time, time, just stomp by the now here, there, ne there needs to be like, what's going on here? Are we getting out or are we fighting, right? I think you need to be like commanding that, cause X-Ball, cause you're like the only true, true kill potential. That's my better. 
you should be saying you're silencing him. I know even though it's super obvious in front of your ex-ball, just because then he's going to be like, okay, he's going to go on him. So it might motivate him to use his buttons on him instead of hit anyone else. That's good. That was, I think, one of the better parts of your communication. You talk CDs. And there you did it again. You scythe, then press two. If you two one okay. three there, he's literally like this much health, and then you get passive. I'm done. Oh my god. I guess it kind of threw me off that Ganesh like um, he timed wrong the dash, yeah. and we didn't like CC him after my my silence. Which is fair, yeah. but th that's mechanical play. So sometimes your teammates are going to miss shit. But at, at being accountable and being quick on snapping decisions, right? Like, let's say, like, you're at a fire dance. You're looking for initiation. You know, I play support and jungle. And so, like, I'm playing support, right? I'm a, I'm a Maui, for example. I go for an ult. I look for it. I'm like, guys, I'm looking for an ult. I miss. There's a lot of supports that have ego problems. They'll say nothing. They'll say, oh, uh, I, I ulted. But, like, that sounds like I'm saying go. You know what I mean? I ulted, like... Even though I know I miss everyone and got no actives, like, I'm quick to snap. As soon as I miss all, I'm quick to snap. Hey, yo, get out. Get the fuck out. Because what, the, what are they going to try to do? They're going to try to re-engage off me missing my ult. So, like, you got to be quick on a snap. Like, that Ganesh miss. So, you snap. Hey, yo, Thor's left jungle. We should back up. We didn't execute. Back up right away. Yeah. Okay, that's good yeah, I thought you would insta three. And the two one as well. When you get yeah, the two, the two, three, one. Yeah. <clears throat> I just know he would use it to try to insta. Doesn't really matter. I'm going mid straight up. I think left ones are up, so come to it then. Down ones. Left ones are up. The Karen didn't die from my. <clears throat> I would do something different here, and it's something. What do you think it is that I would do something different here? Okay. Not not rotation, just killing this camp. Something different. I just want to see where your head is at. Nah. All right, That's so completely lost. No worries. So this is what I would do. I would wing shard these mid camps. Why? Because my speed right is coming up, and that's and I'm gonna lose rotation right side, right? Because this door backed, he's four, he's gonna play this side, and you're gonna be late because you're greeting for this, right? Because you, if you right. back right now, you'd make it here. So if you're gonna greet for this, fuck it, use the wing shard and get and clear that shit as fast as you can, so that you can get back. Maybe you can contest this or even play for this side. Because by doing this and clearing slow, you, you're pretty much conceding this side. Yeah, I mean you're gonna see it in a bit. Uh, our soul lane is gonna ask for it, but right now, I'm just gonna let it play. Am I being ganked? Probably not. Vision on them. I have no vision on them. I am being ganked. Okay, this is it. Yep. And I would say, when he asked that, I so, top junglers, what do they do there in that spot, right? Thor backed. I'm, I'm accounting for his back right here. He backs, goes speed, clears, comes this way. So I know that you stayed around for those archers. In my mind, I have a, a timer on where he'd probably be. And I'm yelling to my soul laner at this point. But when I'm clearing those archers, I'm like, yo, he has prio right. You got to just play chill and we got to deep blue. Because that, that, like, that, it is what it is. Like, you guys lost that fight and left. And it, and it slowed down your rotation. And you know he's going to be there right first. And so best case scenario is you guys deep blue, right? Because then it's even. And so he didn't get anything out of winning this side. So that's what I would say. And so you said it like you, you weren't talking about it because you were focused here. He did something really great, which was ask, right? Am I getting ganked? Because so, I've had a lot of solo that fucking do nothing but just sit at tower lines and die. So that, I think that was a good play from him asking, yo, is someone coming? And you should have said, you know, probably there's a high chance. Because, and that's just, that's just a mistake on your timers, right? Because you didn't account for him to just coming straight from speed to right. I didn't even just look at the map like the blue, the blue back. Is there just giving me the exactly? Time. It's giving you the info for free. Yeah, just fine. You know what I mean. That's what scrims is all about. It's like making mistakes and learning from them. That's definitely grief. Like I, I don't know. Is this your team? <laughs> yeah, yeah. To shit talk him, please. Yeah. So that's grief. Like if my teammate does that after the game, I'm telling him to go fuck himself. 
Like, we're, the goal is to win together, right? Like, if you made a mistake and you're VGSing, we're not ranked teammates, you know? We're we're working together. Like, if this happened in a scrim environment for me, I'd fucking tell him to go fuck himself. I, I, I'd be like, yo, if this guy does this again, bro, I, he's not going to hear from me. You know what I mean? Like, that's just, that's just like, low quality scrims. Yeah. You're going to see it more no, on my, my mind. Where are you spamming? Me? Yeah, why are you I spamming? I any rotation. Now, I said, is he ganking? I said, no. Well, Seriously? because he I'm... backed and all the buffs are up, so I assume he isn't ganking. Oh, from I'm a, stuck. From a jungler perspective. <laughs> but he doesn't, he doesn't even have ult. Thor just ulted me. No, he did not. He ulted yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Also, and this is for you, for your future, anytime you're talking about in-game stuff, and this I had to learn the hard way, it's so useless. Like, talking about this right now, all it's doing is affecting the future of this game, and, and so you can't, you're not getting better right now. And so, after the game, that's one thing that I always say, as soon as something bad happens, I say, we'll talk about it after. So that we're focused on like what's happening in the game, so we can continue to get better. Because the scrim is dying every time you're talking about what happened. In the moment. Did he all? He did it all. Why didn't you call the rotation? Oh, I don't know. I didn't see, really notice that he'd be there already. Like it's just all useless info. Like for, let's focus on the game. Like you got ganked. That's gonna happen in in comp games, right? You're gonna get ganked. You're gonna die. That's part of the game. How we move forward from there and win the game is what makes us good. Ult is down now. Is this a bug? Is this fucking play yeah, button? I said he ulted when he left. Yeah, me. it's a bug. That is not from my stream. I'm just laughing at the way we're fucking talking. I'm, backing, I'm, backing, I'm, backing. I'm gonna refresh this. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Oh shit, did I skip too much? No, we're fine. Holy shit. No, I, I, we I, were exactly there. Uh, yeah. Yo, Ruben, thanks for the sub. Appreciate you, dude. Here, I do think you're greening a bit. On Jordan Spike, on Jordan Spike, like you, like right now, the the way you should be thinking, your brain should be thinking. Okay, Thor has won two lanes. Not that he won it by himself, right? Because there was help. Because this this fight could have went either way. And then it went their way, so it happens. So this lane is one, right? Then he goes, because he won this lane, he then backs early, earlier than you, and then ganks this lane. So two lanes are one, right? For him. Mm -hmm. So in your brain, the first thing you should be thinking, the last thing you should be thinking is, I need farm. And the first thing you should be thinking is, how do I make an impact to reestablish at least one lane right now? So the fastest way to do that is to back, get Jotuns, and gank a lane. Even if you miss mid-wave, even if you miss the speed, you need to get back Jotuns and, and go gank a lane immediately. At least get active somewhere and reestablish a lane. Because now this lane is bleeding hard. And in a way, I know you're doing this to get a, like stay even, right? Because it's Thor seven now, right? And you're five, right. so you're doing this to get like at least a little bit closer to him, which is understandable. But you're putting Baba, which is the only lane that's even-ish right now, a little behind. And even though it's a little bit, I think backing, getting Jones, doing speed is way better than staying for that mid wave because now you show a mid wave, and guess what? Thor knows where you are. Thor, Thor knows where he can gank, and Thor's probably gonna gank right right now soon. Good that you call that. Thor's here. Perfect. Do you want to fight here? Mm, the answer is no. Not really. You have Jones. You, you literally do what you, you can't kill. You could scythe this guy probably five times and he still wouldn't die. Just based off like, you know, level two scythe and no Jones. So this is scary, right? Because if I'm this Thor, I'm calling to go on you. I'm tabbing, seeing Jones, tier one mace, and I'm, I, I'm fighting this. Guaranteed I'm fighting this. Oh, maybe. Two levels on you. I'm I'm sending. I'm telling Team I come here. We're going on Thana. Team here, just you also have no beads, so I'm guaranteed calling that. Like I would tab. See this, this. I'm I'm saying all in this guy. Out, to be honest. I think it's so that's good. Yeah, I agree I with that. You, you got one. Uh, that's fine. I got one. Who has who has pri priorita prioritization and rotation when you like next between next, you and what's Thor? Like, who has prior on lane, on the next gank between you and Thor? Thor, for sure. Because, just because he has Jotuns, right? Just because he has his item and you don't. So you have to back, meaning he has a free gank somewhere. So you're, like, s slowly but surely losing, like, control of the game right now. 
And I think it's because of some greedy decisions. Or or already has Yotis, by the way. So. Like this feels so bad here, because you're you're losing your first ult, and it's gonna be a like an 80 or 90 second CD ult here. So you're gonna be off map for a really long time. And this all has to do with this wave. You remember this wave? Because this wave costed this to this to this. If you back before this wave, get speed. You're six. You're coming here. He's seven. You have. We both have Jotuns. All he has is one extra level and double tap or spin, which you could care less about. Kind of chill. That fucking pull is just fucked the entire game, actually. That is smart, right? You you know that there's a potential he could greed here, so this is smart. I agree that you should be doing this, and he did. And you should be calling. Maybe you can gank this guy because he's worth a lot right now. This is like insanely deep. Yeah, I'm not going on this one. I also want to back for That's his ult. I'm not going to. here. So you're really happy about that because he just greeted really hard, right? Like, he went all the way to your speed instead of farming and get actually getting a lane. Didn't get the speed. Then was forced to ult, right? So that's really good. That kind of establishes, like, reestablishes, okay, I can do something. You know what I mean? You, you're happy. Because like if he plays that right, he just waits on one of the side lanes with his ult and ganks. And then you feel now you're, one of the lanes is detrimental. So you have like a like a gasp of air right now. So you gotta find somewhere to punish. I'm gonna need like at least two ganks to back into the game. He's like a level one and a half up. I think what he's saying is useless information. It's not it's not he's not setting up a gank. He's telling you Yo, for me to be where I want to be, you need to gank my lane twice. Like, if someone, if my soul lane were to tell me that, it better be Baskin telling me that. Because if not, he's going to tell, I'm going to tell him to go <laughs> fuck himself and get better. Like, I don't even gank him. Don't worry. And, and that's the bad thing, because this is already bad chemistry, right? Because, like, you guys are not making each other better. If anything, you're making each other worse. Does that make sense? Like, I don't really know if he's, like, your hardcore teammate or anything. But I'm just, from the outside, what I'm seeing is that you guys... In the future, I, I, like, trust me, I've been through hundreds of teams. Like, I, I already see, like, this is not working. Yeah. Okay. But it could still work if you guys just talk about it, right? We have you both have to be, like, you know, mature men and be like, hey, guys, look, this is not working. I've had this talk with a lot of people, you know, a lot of players. I'm like, hey, look, well, the way it's we're talking to each other right now is not benefiting neither of us. And if we want to be a team and we want to work together to improve, we got to fix this. And we got to, this is how you can help me. And, you know, you tell me how I can help you. But what you guys are saying, you guys are like shooting at each other instead of like, hey, how do we do this? He said, I, I need two ganks. If not, I cannot, you know, I won't be back in the game. That's not what he say. Be like, hey, yo, his blue's coming up. This is the way it should be. He's like, yo, his blue's coming up. And you say, yo, Thoral is down. Do you want to play for this? He's like, well, he's ahead. Okay, we'll just get our blue. You see, that's fine. That's okay. You get your blue. You're, it's e you know, you're kind of evenish. You're playing till late game. That's a way better balance than, hey, yo, gank my lane. Like, what the fuck? Okay. You see, your dual lane sounds good to me, in my opinion. Her, the mid, th this sounds good. Like, I feel like they're bouncing well. I mean, I need to say things like three times before it connects, so fucking scuffed. Yeah. 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 Goodbye. I got a decent lead, though. I would have bought a health pot ward, too. Because you don't want to fight here. Yeah, this is just it. Yeah, I can, I can see it. Yeah, so like the way you're looking at this, right, is wh when is this game good? It's if Thor ults this guy and he lives and then he dives tower because it's yeah. eight to six Osiris. So you can't just come here and win the 2v2 flat out. It's impossible. So the only way to win this lane is for Thor to overextend on the Bologna. So yeah. you, what I would do, right, is you show yourself right away, in my opinion. Okay. I, I play right here. I see. I let Thor overextend. Be like, yo, Thor's right here. Play your life. That's what I would tell. What would tell him? And then let him play. And then it, it, when the Thor overextends, if he does, then you can punish. If not, then there's nothing you can do. I'll bring a... Uh, oh, okay, on the on here as well. Th Thor's for sure gonna do this. I'm gonna lose this one. There are four people here. Where are you? I'm bringing... Like
But like rotate for what? This Bologna's not thinking. Like what if if they bring if you bring your Ganesh here, right? What what is gonna happen? Nothing. We're gonna tr double split your wave. That's what's gonna happen. What he should be saying is be happy he got blue experience, and he's happy that four three or four people are here because that means left side gets some relief, and you got the blue right. There's nothing to play for here. So he gets sol he solos this wave. You go under. You do speed red. Like you guys are forcing yourselves into a fight that's not winnable. It's like an, an 80 20, and you guys are taking it. You know what I mean? Don't take that. Yeah, it's done anyway. There's, there's nothing. Like, I have so much armor. Just make sure this doesn't get stolen. No, I don't know. Game is still fine. You guys are down. You guys are down 900 gold with two losing lanes. The game is still fine. Yeah. Now think to yourself, right? After you did this blue, what I would have done, right? There's two. There's two plays. You can wait for the Thor to overextend on this guy, but I feel like if, if it's adapting, right? For example, or a top jungler. I know he's not stupid enough to like give me that. So what I'm gonna do is I know he's here. He doesn't know that I know he's there, and I slide under this way to, to play away from the Thor, right? Because the Thor is a little bit ahead right now, but now now yeah. even ish. But I'd play away from him into a lane that's because this lane is too fucked to play through. They're going red, bro. You, you can do them one. Then you get the bigger lead. Can we rush gold? I don't have a lead, my guy. Can we rush gold? <laughs> go, go, go. I'm backing. No, that's really uh, bad. No, 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 no way. Okay. Thor also just died. It. Can't run here. Can't fight this guy anymore. This is just over. Yeah, this guy is really tilting to play with. He, like, this game is still so winnable, like, it's fucking smite season 11, like, you can come back a hundred times. If you had, like, an AI to, to know win probability right now, it's probably, like, 50-45. I mean, 55-45, like, it's not even that bad right now for them. Oh my god. What? Yeah, you guys are just losing too much map pressure. Karon is like free roaming. Yeah, that's Thorold again. They just have Thorold, so we can't just aren't, game left. But aren't Hello. you staying yeah. here? And <laughs> Tell me when to mute too when you're talking, because I get kind of confused if it's you in the game or okay. it's you out of game. <laughs> I want to buy words, but I want to. When everything's going bad in a scrim like this, it's really important to say, hey guys, our, what is our win condition? Like, what, what, what is our opportunity? It's like, look, I, I tell my team sometimes what, when things, because games go like this, you know, they happen all the time. Just be like, hey guys, what, what is our, like, way out of this, right? And it's like, look, we have two losing lanes, Baba's still even. Let's play through Bobo damage when she gets two items. Let's just chill. Let's play reactive right now. Because if you force anything, right, around mid camps or anything, you're going to lose. Like, you guys are down. Now you guys are down a significant amount. So you guys just got to play, you know, counter. You got to counter them. If we go both roll left, I'm sure we can get a kill. I agree with that. I think that's your only opening. No, he's backing off now. He's going to his purple. And after that, he'll probably back. He back. Yeah, that's missing. I don't know. Okay. Some rhythm, yeah. maybe. Uh, you can check if purple is up. He didn't have purple on him. So. Oh my god, I got it. <laughs> the green is up, bro. And the purple it's just down. The king, can you come here? No, it's too late. Thor, Thor, coming from green. He's coming from, he's from green. So this is force, right? Even if Thor is right, it's so obvious that we're doing something here. So I, I would think twice about it, but let's see how it goes. Can we get out or clear that? I'm, I'm coming to I can maybe I'm rotate to this for. Oh. So I'll show right here. Emot's coming from green. He's coming from. So green. this feels forced. It's okay. Thor, 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 Thor TP, right? Uh, can, we, can we get out? Or so, 
this isn't your first opening this game right here. Do you agree? Yeah. 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 So I it, feel it feels good, but it looks oh good. Oh my god, I'm getting tilted. But already. don't worry. But like, look, this is your only opening right here, right? So I'm yelling to my team, right? Because it's that priority, right? It's your only opening this game. Thor is half HP and threw hammer on my X ball. They can't see. I'm in the air. Can we go on Thor? Go on Thor. Go on Thor. I can maybe rotate this for X ball. I am coming to. I would tell Bologna to come because this is an all-in play. It's what you need, right? This is like a fighting, right? Like the guy overthrew a high, like this guy ganked right, invaded blue, and then said, "I'm gonna come this way too." So this is when the, like a fighter overthrows a right hand and extends too far, and open, you know, and then you have your free shot. You finally have your free shot. You should have been in the air, by the way. Yeah, I can do shit. Yeah, I have two people here on me. There it is. Yeah. Unfortunate. Mm. Sorry, low. So that 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 all to, had to do with mechanics, right? Because but the decision making was there, right? Thor was the right target this whole time. Bologna should have came after wave, and you should have been in the air right now. Because if you go in the air, you guarantee the store kill, and then yep. the fight might snowball from there. But obviously, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. I'm coming to. I can maybe rotate this for I am coming to Thor. Yeah, I can do shit. Yeah, I have two people here on me. Because if you get the store trade kill. For the Ganesh, you're really happy. And then, and then you. Yeah, I'm. Mm. Sorry, low. Oh my god. Oh, no. wow. I think it's just to disengage, honestly. It definitely is. Shot. I don't know, I should have just kept farming. And now you're staying around for what? I mean, maybe they can invade purple green, but you gotta get to this rotation. If you get here, you're like kind of even. You should play right mids. You know, they were all left side, meaning like all this could be up. So I'd be prioing. Like this, this I think it's a little inefficient in farming. This side mid is mean shit. And now Karen can stop your back forever. The way I see it after this happens is it ends up being this because we just force them out of our buffs. Like I almost trade my life here, but it ends it, it ended up just being time for Shabal and get to get the farm. Do you think Charon's happy with this? I, I think this looks good for Karen and now they they choose to disengage and I'm I'm happy as a fan of those personally. I think as a Karen I'm super happy that you just my their jungler was hitting me here for a while. Like the, the Thor's already here here and then you didn't get speed red. You're probably only these mids. That's why. And then Thor is here, clearing this, and he probably has gank angle again on this balloon. He's about a dunker, guaranteed. Oh, he went on you. What the fuck's he doing left side? I'm fine. I'm fine. But I feel like your speeds are up for too long. They're resetting. They're resetting the the timer is just so important for your efficient for like for the efficiency of farming. What the like fuck this speed has been up like since you were oh, here. Oh, that's so be But another thing to think about in a scrim too is that even you guys were down a lot and there was an opening, right? Like so, yep. there's gonna be another one. So it's just about finding it. There goes my book. You're gonna gank and left swipe. Uh, yeah, anyway, we can go on on the Maybe. He has ult. Okay. Just damage it. Oh. Who the fuck did he ult? He he has it on quick cast. He has ult. And yeah, he tried to cancel it, but it just went off. Okay. Another thing too is that I I never max my two overall. I mean, all so P on that like ex more execute range is crazy. And just damage it. Oh. I'm Sorry, just back. I don't think we kill him. I'm He's got full, uh, two full, full defense. I think he's two and a half levels up. And? Yeah, that's just an excuse, right? Because, like, you, if you're all like that, you say, hey, my bad. That's all you can say there. Like, him trying to make up, like, a reasoning for even even if I hit that all, he doesn't die. You don't know that, right? So, Wait, no, that was the solo. Oh, that was the solo. Yeah, well, that was the yeah. You, you, yeah, that's fine then. You can't give us rights for lead like this. Yeah, but we, we coming mid. Yeah. Could have been a, a solo kill, not gonna lie. I don't know. 
that's that's my auto. Got Karen on me. <coughs> yeah, I, uh, I, ju I just went for it, not gonna lie. I'm back in now. I'm backing as well. They're going left mid. Sorry, sorry, I can come there with him. But Caron and Tiamat is there, and Anur is also rotating. They're going gold. I, c I don't have ult for 40, I'm gonna lie. I don't think you steal it at all, but. Uh, I mean, we can, we, can, we can look for a little bit I of both. I have an exit. We don't, we don't have to engage yeah. in it. Can you dash on it? So. The reason this guy is not gonna die, can you tell me why he's not gonna die? It, think, think about your comms. Tell me something about your comms. It's, it has to do with your comms. Not just yours, but the whole team. Can you play it a bit back? Mm -hmm. Just like three seconds, okay. They're going left mid. Sorry, sorry, sorry. They can come down the Okay, you can mute. I already know what's gonna happen. Uh, I just think here, we're like... Tor steps up and we don't even call it. Plus, we don't have like a, at least the way I see it, like a clear way of engaging a fight as of now. That too. We don't know but how, we, how we're going to kill someone. Listen to you guys. You guys don't know what to do next. Listen. Also rotating. They're going gold. Everything's reactive. They're doing this. Okay. What are we going to do about it? Are we going to give or are we going to fight? That has to be said right now. And if you're going to fight, I think it's a good fight call because... You guys need damage, right? You guys have no damage right now. And gold will help you in that. So I think... And then also look where the waves are at, right? Like, they're just meeting. Meaning, if you contest this, you're not missing farm. Because it, they're missing it too, right? To, to contest this, they're missing these waves. So I think coming over and be like, yo, can we soft D this? We have Ganesh. Like, Ganesh is one of the best gold defense. Even though I don't know when his ult's up. So the first thing I'll be saying is, I want to D gold. How, how long into Ganesh on Babo? If they say 10, 15 seconds, I say this is defendable. Can we start coming? If they say 30, 40 seconds, I say, okay, we give. And so that, at least that gives you so, a path, right? Right now, there's no path. Like, you guys are about to just... Like, I don't have ult for 40. Okay, he says 40. So then you say, I don't think we should defend this. I think that's fine. Okay, then, then, then I would just go right side. I would, I would look to gank this OC or do something else. Just standing I mean, around is scary. A bit of I, have an exit we don't, we don't I feel like this guy should die here. But, I, but, but they don't know to come here. Because well, you guys kind of said you're going to give. So I feel like you shouldn't be here either. And I think if you press your buttons the other way around, I think he dies. I got good poke on team, Monte. Mm -hmm. I went to Ganesh. I'm healing off this camp. I'm healing off this camp. Just wait a bit. Yeah, you're out. Karen no down down already. That's Tor really good. Uh, store all Toro team at half. I don't think they're going gold, but. Karen's still here. Gonna hold her. No vision. They're not in mid. Uh, you don't want to react to the minimum up there. Tor is still behind. That, that's Amir. Tor, Tor can die. Wait, what the fuck? Right this guy is guys. griefing. Nice. Oh, Unfortunate. Oh Why didn't you play game match? I thought I was gonna heal more. Ten out of ten, you would blink in as well, right? Um, Wait, what I I play this the way I play this. Well, first I would have reacted for sure to this guy showing on this warn. I would have, and then after he double taps. That, that's that Mir Tor Tor can die. I think it's fine trading. I think it's fine. He already 2 1. No buttons. I stay here. Once my blink is up and my 3, I have two options. I silence his hammer or stun, or I blink it if I feel too scared. So here, as soon as he throws hammer, I blink it and hammer him. I'm an axe uh, and whatever size him. What the fuck? Right here, guys. But I think it was fine to do it post. But then you didn't 2 again. The 2 the two 1, if you do that, bro, I promise you he's dead. Like Especially <laughs> yeah. since you're maxing it. I'm starting to realize it, that oh I, I just don't God. do it at all. Why didn't you play game, man? He's playing for Beacon. Uh, I need to like 100 gold and I can get full item. He's still missing. He's probably going gold then. Probably. Wait, be careful, be careful, be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. 
careful. Yeah, There's careful. no one. Yeah, Ender is back in. Oh, they're pyro. They're for sure pyro. I'm gonna try. Yeah. Oh, I should have checked it. Not online. I'm back in there. I agree with the Bobo. At least oh, he's accountable. Be careful, don't get dunked right now. Yeah. I feel like you're not very, like, clear on when you want to fight or not. Not just saying it, but knowing it yourself. Like, you're always willing to th trade, but even though the trades are never, like, uh, with you. Like, this Charon is one level under you, and he has, he's unkillable. You can scythe him maybe 15 times, and he still wouldn't die. Yeah. So, like, once he sees me, I know the goal is farm, right? You have beads upgrade, you have speed. Like, you're always trying to trade somewhere here. Like, you're always trying to fight. Like, I, I think these fights are just not in your favor. Mm -hmm. I think in jungle, that's what it's all about. It's just being very precise with your rotations, and when, and then taking, tr taking trades... When they're in your About favor. This on her is the best possible gank. But the problem is, is this on her always knows where you are. Why? Because you're always trading with this Charon. So this Charon is just a living ward on top of you. Like, he, kn this guy knows he's chill. This guy knows he's chill. Why? Because Charon's just attacking you. You're taking trades with him. So he knows that you're there. Like, like I would say, like, adapting is one of the best junglers. And, and like, Johnny and, and those guys, like, if you, they're just missing on the map always. Because they understand... How to play the map? In terms, they know where your vision is. They know where your support is, and they're gonna be. They're gonna play under rocks. They're not gonna show on those guys because they know they have no kill threat on those guys. Yeah. About ten minutes. I won't think so. They're going gold again. Next pull back. So this is kind of scary. Ganesh is hitting cups instead of getting vision. Incorrect. Bob was using spells on a camp that when split by two gives you six gold instead of a 1250 gold fury. Is that worth vision on gold? I disagree. It's really bad. Thor is a good call here. This is the first time I've heard you say like a call like and be, you know, be like imperative about it. Yeah. He gets out. Nice. Sorry about that. All right, so you're in the air. Thor has no ult. I mean, he ulted and he's half. This is your best fight this game. So let's see how you guys call this. Team at top. Team at top. I got combo now. Yeah, I'm on you. I got big ult. I got a big ult. I got a big ult. I think in this ult. Team at top. Team at top. You go for the steal, right? I think that's fine. I, I think I just wait for Tiamat. Uh, jump a little bit yeah but you i don't think you might yeah i think hindsight that's fine but that's kind of like such a close call right like yeah that's hindsight's 2020 there i think it's fine what you did the only thing here is i think you you disengage here and you and you like re reposition i think you just tried like all inning them i think if you reposition this way with a bunch of them being low so you're fucking hella fast like you're just you you wipe them little by little and this is what you need like you uh, I'm you see how you stay and just brawl? If you just like walk out this way, you still have blink scythe and you can start picking them off. I got big ult, I got a big ult. I got a big ult. But he owns, that's really good. Enter, go enter, 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 enter. Nice. But like, oh, the, well, if you ever want to tell your soul leaner, this guy's saying die, 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 but, but who? Like who, who are we diving? Like just say one person, like, on, yo, dive on her, dive on her. Okay, your team knows on her. Like die, die, dive, you're just going to run at whoever's in front of you. Then everybody spread out. I get tank tower. Beautiful comms. Cause look, look what happened. He said die, 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 dive, and look, where'd you guys go? You guys split on two different people. And now uh, X ball dies. Ganesh probably. Yeah, yeah. I got, I got him. Now this guy's dead. He disarmed. His score is also like 200 HP. So there's no like direction after this gold fury steal like what what are you guys gonna do after this right like yeah, yeah, yeah. The, no no one says what the goal is you guys said tia a lot i don't mind that tia tia tia, tia okay tia tia, tia. Right. you guys stole gold now what's next everybody's yelling tia so i think tia i guess tia's the call right uh, that's fine yeah. 
You died. I got pickled. I got pickled. He, you killed two, I though. He, I, you get two. And Rico, and. This X ball is insanely silent on this. And then you, this guy's saying dive. Same thing. Just call who. Enter, enter, enter. Nice. Thanks. Oh, fuck no. And I think you should be talking too. Cause you're yeah, you, that's what I'm. That's what I'm thinking right now. Like I opened the store, but I should be saying something. Yeah, from the death, I'm t talking the most because I don't have to think at all about what my buttons are. So I'm, I'm like, guys, like I'm not, I'm not gonna over talk their place. I'm gonna let them communicate, but I'm gonna say imp really important short segments. So like for example, like here I'm saying, here whatever, dive, 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 dive. dive. Oh, you, you're looking to steal gold. We got gold, guys. We can fight. We can fight. Okay, they got me. I'm dead. That's a big ol. It's a free fight. It's a free fight. Can we chase on her? Chase on her. Chase on her. And Does X ball. You need help, X ball. Like that's the first thing I'm saying because I've seen him on the mini map attacking, but he's not saying anything. Enter, 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 enter. We're diving on her, and then I'd say, for example, that's Tuba. I'd be like, Yo, Tuba, we're diving on her. You okay? And then, and then his brain would finally respond because you know a lot of ADCs like to like hyper focus on their autos, and then he'd be like, No, 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 I need help. And then, then I think it's fine to like all drift that way, but right here, there's just no leader other than the guy yelling dive. And so then that's what everyone does. Oh, the Ganesh oh, splits. And then he finally comes this way. And then this guy dies. Then it, then it becomes... It goes from an amazing trade to super, e super even trade. So another thing too is now you should be focusing on just catching back up in this game. If there was like four men sending all my health right there, the rock route. That's here, passed so badly there. If that yeah. was CC'd earlier, she, she died immediately there. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's kind of disgusting, it's more base health that she lives there, but. So there's no OBJs right now, so it's just farm catch up time. Okay. Just be careful. But I think the next fight uh, is gonna happen when we go to fire. But it doesn't take very long, it's not a. Uh... Oh, never mind. Sorry, it's proxy, by the way. Tormid. No, so is gonna do this and then I'm going mid. Any damage on tears? You think this is a good land? No, that looks terrible right now. And what's one of the biggest things? On why it's bad. Think deep. Don't think on the just the initial layer. Why is this all very bad? You can just say whatever. It doesn't matter. I think me engaging here is just bad as a whole. So there's a couple. There's a there's a lot of layers to why this is bad. So for one, your Baba got poked out for free, right? They're all full health. Second is you're landing on a Caron and TMI that are full HP, and then now the most important one is there is someone showing on a ward that's going to be here way before your teammate there's none here coming so yeah. if you land on this the chances of you dying are very very high and the chances of this guy's rotation being value if you just back up here x ball pushes wave he has to go back now you have a now you have priority of pyro and you see how like deep i'm thinking and how fast i'm thinking about this like mm -hmm. i'm looking at i look at this all I look at him, I say, okay, if I back up here, we have prior to Pyro because he has to go back to Gatch Wave. So, like, that level of thinking and how fast you can do it is all, like, how you improve as a player. What? I hold oh, on next, I hold on accident. Yeah. I hold on accident. Yeah, it's bad. Just try to live, if I'm wrong. I'm at CT, yeah. I mean, Anor is just casting out of me. Bro, I fucking ulted, man. Okay, I got some ulting out then. <clears throat> Where is it? It really sucks we have no CC at all. Well, Anor is low, though. Yeah, Anor is also low. Like, this is one thing I tell my team. I'd be like, guys, when we're in a fucking team fight, Please shut the fuck up about all these other things that have nothing to do with a team fight. Like everybody's saying, like Ganesh is saying, oh the honored free casting. Well, yeah, of course he is. There's nobody like it's a one team fight for them. Second, 
-hmm. He's yelling. He's talking about, yo, we have no CC. Why there's an, a full out team fight that could just end the game. And he's talking about like, oh, we have no CC. Like, tell me after the game. I mean, we, you know what I mean? Like, this is useless information. This is a fightable, actually. Because they start diving. And we just call targets here. It's on her tanks. T like, two tower shots. Karon dashes in. Thor is in, me, not tanking. Here. Here it, it looks fightable. It, it was fightable here, I'll tell you what. Oh, I fucking ult it, man. Okay, I got some ult out then. Here. Because I would have been looking at this on her. He's ulting a Bologna. Yaga's gonna free cast. X Ball has a flank, and they're full diving the tank. This is your only opening. I would have blinked there. And think about who you're using your spells on, too, right? Like, you're threeing this guy. That's just, like, as useless as I can get. If you blink 3-1 this guy, he pops. If you blink 3-1 this guy, he gets to, like, 20% and Xbox could kill him. I think your target selection was really rough here. We have no CC at all. I lock into Tor there, did you see? Like, my camera? The what? But it was after I free. Like, I lock into Tor as a target after I free. But here you should be using blink. Here you should be looking for a blink for sure. Like putting yourself in combat to do 130 damage to carry on is definitely not a good play here. Because yeah. <laughs> then if you have blink here, he's dead, right? Yeah. You blink Scythe on three, he's popped. And then guess what? You have reset, three, one, this guy dead. Like you have an opening here. What? Another thing before you started this fight that I forgot about the fourth layering here is you have full BF on this ult. So you're going to ult here on your biggest spike possible without it. So that just feels that would have been like a big what thing. What is the BF by the way? Blood Forge. Oh. Enter is low though. Thor is also low. I mean, I have ult in twenty. Can we chase them to the bar? Oh no. I have I have feet still, but that's not ult. Karen is going. I have ult in ten. This is really forced. I think we just chill. Asar is too strong right now, no problem. But it's the same level. Yeah, but I don't know. I'm not doing any damage here. Yeah. And Xbox also pretty shit spike. Come on. Mm, the Thanos was pick was really bad. Yeah. The Thanos has the only way we can go right now. Yeah, but we don't you really have zero kills. That much damage, dude. Well, that's because you got. And I'm sure I know we already talked about it, but there's no way you ever do this. Yeah, we we were, like we had a big pause before game two, and we just like watched the game back. And we talked about it. Well, I was talking about your level, your order level, your level order. Oh, sorry. No. Uh, no not at all. Yeah, this is OP ability. Okay, I'll I keep it in mind. I think it goes up by like twelve percent. The more, you, like the, the three levels. You, <coughs> sorry, the three levels that you're missing is I think twelve percent of XE, which is necessary right now because the first thing you're thinking about is what what don't we have damage? Why? Because we're behind items. So like you, XE is just broken. Like it's Osiris, yeah. it could be just dead just by tanking three tier two shots by mistake. I mean, it, 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 it was just early, early to be honest. Games. I think. They're not dying early as bad. I think CC is is true CC. People just throw the word CC out like it's whatever. It's you need. It has to be like a true CC. Two misplays. Two. Too. Have you noticed every fight, like how you're coming in? It feels like you're just always coming in through the front. Like this one's a little bit of a flank, but like it feels like th this fight it just feels bad. Like you're showing so early and you can't see any cores other than TMI, but Tia's like hybridish. This is an all-in call, yeah. but it's doable. Maybe. First thing I'm looking at is I'm tapping to see items. If this guy doesn't have XE, there's no way I'm touching that uh, fire giant. He's gonna be here. Yeah. He, he needs like XE wind demon to do this. That's the only way. OC's gonna come. He's coming. Okay, wait, they got out. Okay, this is a super early ult. Because I like the call. I like the call to go to fire, right? Because it drags him from Gold Fury, which is a good call mm -hmm. in my opinion. But I just think this ult is just rough. Because how how can you kill anyone now with no XE? Like, you need the XE to snowball these fights. So, for one, this ult is bad because look where X-Ball is, right? Two, right. I think 
is just too early. Like, I think if you go like this and stay here, right? And then they funnel into fire. Then Ganesh drops ult here. Bologna ults. Baba two ones and ults. Xbox turns off the lights. And you're here. I think it's winnable. But I, I, think, I think like this. This is crazy. You should be dead. That, that's crazy. That ended up working out. Osiris behind us. Osiris behind us. Caron, 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 one. Get out now, get out. Look at the door, Osiris. Uh, we're good, we're good. Yeah, we're, we're cool, we're cool. We got okay, so you guys get your first good fight, right? Three for Zip. Yep. What? So there's, there's still no... What are we going to do next, right? The faster you call it, the faster you can get everybody on the same page. Like right mm -hmm. now... They're all panicking because Osiris is behind, right? That's okay. Everybody, I got sprint. Okay, that's the answer to that. Now, what is next? So immediately as we get those kills, I'm saying tier one gold. Tier one gold, guys. Tier one gold. Tier one gold. Who can tank? Like, start getting your team in order. Because right now, people are still sporadic. People don't know. Like, you got 40 seconds to work with. Every second matters. Go back to farming. I'm pushing left. Right lane. I think farming is a mistake. Because... I don't mind farming, but you need to get an OBJ, right? Like, three cores dead, yep. three, five. We got to get tier one gold here. But that's I fine. I, I, I don't mind you. Like, at least you're calling something, right? Which is better than nothing. So, I don't mind that. The only problem with that call is that there's no farm up, right? So, like, if you look here, nothing, 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 nothing. Let's look at waves up here, up here. Here, so that would I would that'd be that's the wrong call, but it's fine. Like I don't, I rather you make a call than not make a call at all. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, going right now. Sorry, going right. So if he's going right, it is free gold, correct? So that's what you guys should be doing. And you never die, Osiris, right? You have only five, so you should be playing aggro on this wave, clear and dip, clear and dip, because you want to play really greedy right now. It's like respecting this Osiris is crazy, right? Because this wave is a lot of gold. This is like, it's literally worth a kill. I mean, I, I think Smite is wrong for doing this, but I mean, it is what it is. It's a Smite we play. But this wave is worth a kill. So like giving it up because an Osiris is coming, how does he kill you? If you just press forward, there's no way. So you greed that wave guaranteed. Yeah, I did feel safe, but I, I guess I just don't go for the wave. Yeah, I'll take it then. Or maybe I go back now for the wave. yeah, yeah. Fair, but isn't it better to do bang bang and then back speed ref and then you have rotation? I feel like your farm priority or like routes are super like zigzag, you know, like wasting time. It just should just be bang bang, free set here. Can we look for a fight? Can we ward fire? It's just like it needs to be like in ro in in a, in a flow, if that makes any sense. Because no. now you're going to have to zip back to right lane. And guess what? When you zip back to right lane, guess what? You're showing. And if you back here, they know that you back. So it's like... Always clear, clear wave, then go camps. Clear wave, then go camp. If you do wave, if you do oh camps to to to, wa uh, to wave, it feels bad. I'm a TP, so right there. And then you guys should be talking about what's next. You got gold; they're all up. They could just rush to fire, but you guys are not prepared. He's greeting green. He's doing. He just backed, so he he did the right play. He's TPing this way. So like, I think this one's fine. He's doing this fine. So I'll be like, guys, can we just set up for FG? They can come out of base. Because they just heard the goal sign, right? And you guys did it pretty late because you guys didn't go straight to it after this fight. So that means they're spawning and they actually have priority to this FG. I'm sure I'm so he TP'd here. Oh. Alan Hirsch shows left. You guys are cleared on FG. Oh, so that's one thing you should have been paying attention to there. He showed mm -hmm. for a millisecond, but that second means everything. How did you kill Thor, by the way, Lepain? I use my abilities. Yeah, I, I ulted him in his, <laughs> in his ult as well. So, my, my ult. So, you guys get. So, remember what I talked about earlier? When you were here? You guys just got caught off guard. They're all fireside, all grouped. It's X Ball greeted. And so, like, you guys are about to. Get, I feel like you're about to get punished. I'm not sure, but. Mm, I can get started after this wave. Are we hanging around the right side? Yeah, there's, yeah, yeah. there's, there's, yeah, there's two of them. 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 Yeah, there's two of them.
Please be careful, Ender is back into the maybe. I'm, I'm back in already. No bees, no bees. Oh, you have to be careful. Actually, I'm moving. Thing? Can we go on tour maybe? No, uh, actually, no, no, I'm no, going no, to no. I'm going to I'm going to So, if he doesn't beads immediately, you could assume this guy's a good player. He doesn't have beads, right? <laughs> Meaning that you could get your two off here and you one shot him. So this is the way I combo here. Okay, land, auto, hydro proc, two, auto, three, because then he, as soon as you three, he's going to be getting finished with the stone. He's then silenced, cause, and you know he has no beads because he would have beat the ult. Then he's this, and then you yeah. side finish him, and he has no way to counterplay that. I'm not there. Yeah, I just didn't have it on my mind, to be honest. I, I, I don't think I do it like, oh, I'm going to gank, I'm going to 2-1. I'm gonna keep it in mind from now on. For sure, for sure, yeah. It's just habit. It's good no. habit to have. It's just too it's much. I mean, flat pen is like the best thing in this game right now, and like having so much of it is crazy on that ability. That's why Thana is always like a god that can be played at any time. XC plus it, free pen, I mean. Of course, I have it's OP as fuck. Please be careful, Ender is back into the maybe. I'm, I'm back in already. No beads, no beads. Yeah, I cannot do anymore. Yeah, I think it's I'm, I'm gonna reset and we do fire, surely. Exactly. That's the call right there. That should be the faster you can make this call, the better, right? Because as as you're running, I would have already been making that call like right here. Yeah. And so it's good that you did it in general, right? Because it's better late than I never. But the faster you do it in these days, like the faster everybody can set up for it. Yeah. Enter enter is I don't find the one. Maybe Karen. Karen is off. They have a warrior. I think. We can look for Karen on me. They just wait for me to get there. I'm so close. Dashing right now? Yeah, we can't. No, 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 no,
You. Why would he ult any of these guys, in my opinion? I mean, I think that'd be the right ult. But he's ulting you. So it's good that you responded with this ult. But I would have known he's ulting me. Because this guy is... They're carry, and he's acting ridiculous. So no, I think I this ult is really good. See what I mean? And, that, and I didn't even... I didn't, I've never seen this game. I could just read it off the way they're playing. And so... This is a good counter ult. I'm not sure if you did it because you knew Thor was in the air. But it, it's great to kill this guy. He's Karen, gonna be an XE. Beautiful. You should be. I know your focus here, but you should be saying, guys, I have a stupid oh, good flank right now. Really good flank. So this is fine. Karen, this is good. Karen, Karen. They don't care on beautiful. By the way, your team's positioning is fucking hot ass this game. I mean, this fight. Why? So let's look at it. Thor's ulting. I'm ulting. Okay. From here, you're Ganesh sitting back here. That means he has no clue this fight is good, right? Because no, it doesn't look like your team knows this fight is good. The only one doing anything right now is the Bologna. Because Thor misses ult, right? Charon is... 40% health. This fight is your best fight up to now. So the fact that your your team is like back here, like that means they don't even know this fight is good yet. You know what I mean? And, mm -hmm. and you should be yelling at your team, even though you're, you're saying the right info. Yo, go on, Karan. If I see my team back here, I'm like, guys, this fight is good. Go, 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 go. Like, go, go, go. Push, push. Can we push through? Is what I would ask my frontliner, which your Bologna loves saying to push through, so I'm sure he would say yes. Um, and <laughs> and the angle is good here for you, so I like this. I don't know. Tiamat behind us. Tiamat behind us. Can we turn Tia? No. Okay, Tia jump. Getting out here. Getting out. Yeah, go back to fire. Go back to fire. So, I think being in command, so you can you can talk between you and your support on what's better or what's not, like who wants to do it. But the call should be pulling FG immediately because this Karen kill is not a very big kill. It's he's lowest level in the game, like it's not. He's gonna spawn very soon. So, what is the call? Pull fire, bait him in, right? So that's okay. With X-Ball not hitting it, I mean, this is a like grief. Like, he's, like, trying to poke people out at his X-Ball. That's cap. Like, you need to be hitting this OBJ. Then the X-Ball should be saying, hey, bro, I, don't, I have kins. I don't do shit to this. Or I have crit. I can burn this, right? Those are the next calls. Starting fire, guys. Let's go. Like, this guy's capping. But it looks like you guys are, like, on different pages. But, I mean, I guess it's fine. This guy's walking in. Oh, but if this guy's a good player, there's an X ball hitting me, meaning what? He's not on FG, meaning what? I don't need to walk in, meaning what? I should never be here. So this is a giant mistake on his part, but you guys are punishing it, so that's good. The only thing is, what are you doing right now? You're going through the front of the fucking fight. Yep, I'm already seeing it. And you're gonna die. You, at least you should. If this guy stuns you and this team at wants you, you should pop here. It's not so far position, like. Yeah. Right now, OC, OC, OC on me. I cannot see this. I cannot. You guys got some kills. That's good. And that, and that's fine. I I actually would call backfire here because this guy is a big kill, right? Fifty seconds on him. That's worth going to any to, to 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 FG. But if if your goal is to get starter here, you should give your team a reason. Hey, yo, I want to farm starter. Just get pyro reset. We'll look again. Mm -hmm. Good fights. Fights are going much better now. Do you want to go and farm left, Lupin? Um, actually... Wait, wait. No, no let me, I let me. But... This is when the oh, game is going to end. But I got good token to you. What are you doing again? You're showing on their tank coming, to do 10% of this guy damage. I think your, your positioning is fine. Like, this is a flank, but... You're showing on this guy. For what? This guy takes no damage. Like, your positioning is worth much more than his 10% of his health. And now you're going to have to find another angle. Another thing, too, is you're showing with no beads. There's no way I'm ever showing without beads unless I know where everyone is. Re-angle. Uh, yeah. like 
I, I think you should die here, but I don't think like you will, but... 40 HP, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to... Bro, this guy is... I'm going mid for a bit to heal off. Or mm -hmm. off the minute. Next show. So, you said the right call, right? Ayo, I'm gonna go mid to sustain. So I would tell your team to back up. Why? Because it's obvious you're not in this fight, right? So they're going to push through. So meaning if, there, if there's a small opening, they, this fight is over. Yeah. For you, carries are by me. That's a lot of poke. I'm going back to you guys. This fight is bad. Holy shit, I just... It's not really that bad. <clears throat> it's just... Like, how is Ganesh saying it's bad? He just, like... He's, he didn't drop ult for one, so that's crazy. Two, he died. This fight is still good. Like, you still have XE, someone's XE range. Baba's still full health. Like, this is still a decent fight. I can probably exit with someone here. Not out, 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 out. Yeah, now it's out. I don't know, you guys aren't, weren't using buttons. But that also has to do with what we talked about here, right? Like, they got initiated, they got initiated on when you're not anywhere near. First here. You probably have to give this. You cannot die here, I don't think. I think I already soft give this. It's uh, one third. I'm watching this back is pink. They got it, they got it. Probably. I'm dead. Push left, I think. Yeah, probably. Yeah, towards mid. Yeah, pushing left. Mm hmm. We just give up tier 2 in defense, Phoenix. Yep. We got a nice ward. Bits in 20. I, I'm just kind of playing off my ult. Four in left. That's good comms. Just clear the waves. I would say Bologna is eating shit here. I would say you cover Thor and Bologna front lines here. I don't know why you had to 2v1 this guy, because then it, it just eat like now they're gonna get this bird for free, I think. Cool. Okay, no. That was a great Ganesh ult. I don't know why on her front line anybody is. If Bologna is here, this fight is won. Nice. Good blink. Oh, no. Good ult. Any damage on the side? Yeah, yeah, dash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just dash. Good patience. Those all things, those all things. So What's one thing that you're noticing when you're playing Thana? Or playing any jungler? I feel like you never reposition. You, once you're in, you're going to keep attacking until you someone's dead. Either they're dead or you're dead. I think it's one thing you can definitely work on. It's like, you could reposition here. You get a great ult, right? Like, yeah, you're really patient. TM at ult. TM at Aegis. TM at beads. And now reposition. Press 2. Dip this way. You know Thor is coming. This is, this is why it's really important to be able to multitask. You know Thor is coming. Mm -hmm. Just go, go go north and play play your beats timers. Oh my god. we follow or we die to a siren. And if we follow we also die to a I also think Bologna has zero impact in that fight. Yeah, the, the fight seems lost when, when we don't get the kill here on Tia, and then the well, four I, ults, uh, we, we just don't get any damage, like, yeah, I, they're I, all full HP. Pretty much, they had a really good med here, med, FG, heal, it's a lot. I think, I think if you reposition after this kill, I think, also you had another option, to, is to go on Thor with your ult here. Nice. Yeah, that's what we talked about, going for Osiris, Osiris, any damage on Osiris? Yeah, Tia, dash, yeah, 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 yeah. I, th I still feel like Tia is right here i mean you know thor is 2020 20, right. you know hindsight but i think tia is fine here once you get ages i i probably i definitely reposition because i know there's about to be a shitload of abilities coming my way and thor and i don't have beats for one so i would just go north i don't think it would have changed the fight for sure but because he baited this caron baited hard right he just he baited baited waited 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 and then shell med and this is why this guy goes back to full pretty much Thor just always cleans up, and I don't know why it takes so long to kill, like, at least two. But that also has to do with, yeah, like, that also has to do with, think about what the Thor's doing and think about what you're doing. I think your Blink Scythe was really good, it was like a hero play, but then at the end of the day, who's going in, you're, you're literally 
always in the front line. You're always in the front line. You're, he gets the flank, and yeah, his honor might have died, and his T is getting full casted on, but then he fucking guaranteed cleans up. And that's what assassins are best at doing. Yeah, sometimes it changes. For, for me personally, it changes from like pick to pick. 100%. Uh, on this game, it, on this game, like that Fanatos ult, when we bait fire, and they come to us and it's the first winning fight, mm -hmm. it, it's just because like, it felt like we had no like full engage, right, and I was just gonna do it. Like, so I'll be, uh, I think it's okay to do something really risky like that. I think fundamentally, I think it's wrong. Um, especially when you're that behind in the game, I'm thinking like you have no damage. Like I, I don't know how that works. I think it was like more a mistake on Thor because you missed all two there. So like he yeah. just kind of kind of stayed around for too long. But even then, like I don't mind an all-in play like that when you're really behind. But I just think it should be someone else. Like let Ganesh just walk into five of them and just drop all on his feet, and then let Baba all, and then you go in. You can clean up. Cause like if you don't do that rotation at the ends, like where you're cleaning up, what is the point of picking Thana? Just pick Susano or something, right? Even though Susano's similar, like Susano can his ult, you know, being AOE damage, like that's more of your playstyle. You like going through the front and doing a lot of damage. And if you yeah, want to play more like Thana and Thor, I would say just really work on those flanks and who you can go on. You, you showed a lot this game on this Karon. This Karon, this Karon won in the game, in my opinion, or the OC. Their yeah. front line was really good. Like sometimes, <coughs> one thing I'm I'm starting to get better at is transitioning into like your early game assassin. You're gonna start up fights, mm -hmm. or you can, and, and it's good. Into like your, you're getting to mid late, and it's just straight up bad if you do that. Exactly. You know, knowing when to stop, like trying to blink, scythe, ulting. Yeah, exactly. That's what's really important of being a jungler and understanding, yo, like, this is my time of transition. And it has to do with your items and your team environment, like, well, like your comp. For, for sure, this game is really hard for you, but, like, Ganesh, Ganesh can start it. Like, a, Ganesh, a good Ganesh ult into X-Ball ult, into Bologna ult, into Baba ult is a great start, in my opinion. It's just mm -hmm. about finding it. Yep. You have any questions, brother? And any chance we can get a look at the Game 2 draft? Because I've... It's yeah, we can look at the draft. Further on, <clears throat> it's a long, long, long way. Uh, a bit back, because the, the order is changed. Still changed. Fire red. Oh, mm, I'm still mid, changed. Like okay, there you go. So, <sighs> Ishtar, Ishtar's support is just a much better duo. Then, then Shibalanke Ganesh. It just screams pressure. And they pick freaking Achim and Kabrakan. Like, there's no way they lose that. Yeah, I mean, that's, you have that's infinite. The way I see it. Well, I mean, I feel like it's a pretty even lane. Ganesh does nothing. Cab is, pa Cab is like. Because Ganesh does nothing versus Cab, in my opinion, other than disabling the three, right? Because you, if you pop your one and he silences, you just stun him out of it. So like mm -hmm. I think that matchup's kind of whatever. Like no one's gonna kill anybody in that. In that and then Hachi's super safe. Ishtar is safe-ish. Better. This this has better clear. They are just too safe. I'm pretty sure that lane is just flat out even. And then I think Bologna. They probably banned the Cyrus or someone banned the Cyrus because you guys didn't pick it. If not, I think you should have picked the Cyrus here. Instead of Rat. Um. Then they pick Mamin. Mamin could either be jungle or mid right now. They show Kama. Why? Like I don't know who we're holding last pick for, for solo. Solo. Uh, Rat could be a flex. Oh, so you're flexing Rat? That's <clears throat> I think that's fine. Um, I don't know how good of a we, flex we Rat like is. We like the Rat Ganesh. We like the Ganesh ult into Rat ult into something something else. For sure, I think that's good. Kama. Yeah, I think it's and fine. Here, what do you yeah, get last pick? just thinking for... like. Oh, who, who do you oh. think goes against Bologna or something like that? And then we, we end up choosing Kukulan. Yeah, but I think it Kukulan's okay. Feels like, for me, the change between Shblanke and Ishtar is is bigger than than what you said in hindsight. Just because the ease, the ease of playing makes it so it's cleaner in, in all aspects. If we have one more stun, one more two from Ishtar, I think it goes a much longer way than just a Sri Lankan taunt or a taunt, no, a blind. Blind. Yeah, I think, it, I mean, I think it's fine. Like, I, I think the X-Fall wasn't a problem. I don't think, like, that was, like, 
too. It, I don't think that was the biggest problem of the draft. Like I think the game was very very winnable. Like I see the this draft in my opinion seems a little bit more weird, but I think Rat kind of cleans up. Like you have really good initiation now, mm-hmm. and I think it's up to Morgan to really do a lot of damage. Um, yeah. But I think I mean this draft is a little a little kinky, but I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I like it. I think Kama kind of has a, a freeish game other than the Ganesh stopping him. But. No, I think it's a good draft. If you guys prior Ganesh like this, I mean Ganesh cooks mom and Ganesh annoys Kama. Yeah, the support didn't want to go in because of uh, the loss. Because but I told him we should be yeah. If it's something that works, strong you... minded and and pick it. Yeah, I agree. And this game it ends up being like a total blowout, so it, it ends up being cleaner than the other one. For sure, for sure. Yeah, I mean having yeah the games you learn the most from are the games you lose. So having blowouts actually sometimes all the time actually makes you. A bad team going into like a tournament or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, but you have any questions or anything? 